Looking for some sweet new Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms cards? Well, you can order them now from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to CardKingdom.com. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and I'm here today to make the case to you that Standard really needs more rotations. We need to have at least two rotations a year in Standard. So that's what we're talking about today. So Standard, it's been in a weird place for the last year or so. Most people would admit that the format is technically healthy, especially compared to the year before when we had decks shooting up to 50%, 70% of the meta. But most people also feel that standard is just boring and stale. The same handful of decks and cards have been near the top of the format for a year or more. And there's only so many times you can play against Emergent Ultimatum or Bone Crusher Guy or Love Strike Beast or Companions before it starts to get old. So standard is healthy, but I think you can make a pretty good argument that standard just really isn't fun at the moment. Even Wizards seems to recognize that many players are just done with current Standard. Uh, they even added Standard 2022, a post-rotation version of Standard to Arena, and they're even managing that format with bannings. We just saw Book of Exalted Deeds ban a couple of weeks ago, so they're treating it like a real format, and I think players are treating it like a real format too, and like in past years, when rotated Standard events like Standard 2022 have been fringe things, this year Standard 2022 Two has really taken off. I've done a couple of polls asking players if they prefer regular standard that hasn't rotated yet or rotated standard 2022, and the results are pretty consistent that like 60 or 70% of players want rotated standard 2022, and like 5 to 20% are wanting normal standard. Add in that standard 2022 has been popular on Twitch, some local game stores are even switching their standard events to standard 2022, websites are writing metagame pages and tier lists for the format, and it seems pretty clear that most players are ready for standard to rotate now, not in a couple of months when Innistrad Midnight Hunt releases, and if Wizards won't officially rotate standard, players are going to do it themselves by avoiding real standard and playing standard 2022 instead. So this begs a question, should standard rotate more quickly? and more often. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Several years ago, back between 2015 and 2017, Wizards actually tried having two rotations a year, but the plan was quickly abandoned. In the words of Mark Rosewater, the plan didn't go over well. Players dislike having the lifespan of their card shortened by six months and didn't enjoy more opportunities for their decks to become illegal. And the response was so strong that we, as in Wizards, changed back to the old rotation system as soon as they had enough data to show how unpopular popular it was. So if Magic Story was to end there back in 2017 or whatever, things are pretty simple. Wizards tried having two rotations a year. Players didn't like the idea. They rejected the idea. And Wizards switched back to the traditional once a year rotation schedule. But as we all know, Magic Story doesn't end back in 2017. In fact, so much has changed since 2017 in just the past few years that you can argue that the current version of Magic didn't even start until like 2018, 2019 when Magic Arena released. Because of all these changes, whatever data Wizard had gathered back in 2015 to 2017, I don't think it's all that relevant today. What if, instead of a failed idea for Magic's past, having two rotations a year was just an idea before its time? So going back to Mark Rosewater's description for why two rotations a year failed, there's really two big reasons that stick out. First, players didn't like having the lifespan of their card short, in which I think as wizards, we can't discuss prices of the secondary market code for, it made the game too expensive. And back between 2015 and 2017, I think this was probably true. That era of standard is most remembered for being the most expensive standard in the game's history, thanks to fetch lands in standard, fetchable dual lands in standard, which encouraged players to run four or five color piles with all the best and most expensive cards and ultra expensive staples like Chase Friends Prodigy, which shot up to almost $100 at its peak. The average weighted cost of buying a top tier standard deck back during that era was $700. $700, and that's not like the most expensive deck. Some outlier, that's the 
average cost of getting a competitive standard deck. If you compare that to today, the standard is way less expensive. The most expensive standard deck is Celta Ultimatum, and it's around 360 ish. And that's a 90 card deck because it plays Yariad. Of the 12 most played decks in current standard, seven cost between $130 and $210, and only three cost more than $300, which means a top tier standard deck today is like one third or even one fourth of the cost of a top tier standard deck back when we tried having multiple rotations each year. Likewise, Arena didn't exist back in 2015. Standard was primarily a paper format. Like, you played on Moto a little bit, but it was really about paper. Today, most Standard, I believe, is played on Arena, and while the economy on Arena can be prohibitively expensive for some players, like me, we've talked about that a bunch of times before, it's also really cheap for some players. It has a free-to-play path, so some players really benefit from having Arena. More importantly, because there's no trading, there's no dusting, there's no selling cards on Arena, Wizards has complete control of the economy, which means, on Arena at least, a standard deck costs exactly what Wizards says it should cost. Which means adding an extra rotation each year doesn't have to make standard more expensive. Wizards could easily make up for cards rotating quicker by giving players more rewards, more wild cards, whatever. There's tons of ways that they could do it. So I think the economic problems of standard being too expensive is really not nearly as much of an issue today as when we tried two rotations in the past. We got Arena now, which makes the game cheaper for a lot of players. Paper standard decks are way cheaper because of collector's boosters and all these crazy printings of cards. So all around, standard is way, way cheaper, which means your cards becoming illegal quicker because of more rotations just shouldn't be as big of a deal today. Secondly, Mark Rosewater mentioned that players didn't enjoy more opportunities for their decks to become illegal. And this could partly be an economic thing, like if your deck is illegal, obviously you gotta buy a new deck if you wanna keep playing, so it makes the game more expensive. But this could also not be an economic thing. Maybe players just really liked playing with a deck and they wanted to play it as long as possible. Either way, I think this argument against two rotations is borderline laughable in 2021. As we talked about before, many players have already switched to standard 2022, even though rotation hasn't happened yet, which means players are choosing to make their real standard X illegal. Like they're making that choice, which is a pretty good sign that at least right now, players wouldn't mind decks becoming illegal a little bit faster if it means they're going to have more fun playing the game. Most importantly, over the past couple years, Wizards has made countless decks illegal without rotation through bannings. From October 2019 until today, we've had Field of Ruin, Oko Thief of Crowds, Once Upon a Time, Veil of Supper, Age of Treachery, Flares of Invention, Calder Familiar, Teferi Tide Raveler, Ghost Spiral, Wilderness Reclamation, Uro, Omneth, Lucky Clover, and Escape to the Wilds Banded Standard. And while some of these cards are utility pieces that show up in a bunch of decks like Banning Once Upon a Time or Veil of Summer, that doesn't make your deck illegal. You can keep playing your deck and just replace it with something else, a lot of these bannings did just make decks unplayable. Like, you can't play Fires without Fires of Invention. You can't play Golos Field without Field of the Dead. You can't play Four Color Omnath without Omnath or Team Wreck without Wilderness Reclamation. So really, over the past two years, Wizards has shortened the lifespan of a lot of popular decks, but rather than doing it in a scheduled way through rotations, they've done it at random in a much more painful way for players through bannings. In some cases, you've heard about players buying a deck only to have it become illegal after a week, a few days because of a banning, and at least with the rotations, players have more control, and they can make an informed decision because they know rotation's coming. Like, go back to Wilderness Reclamation. Like, if you know rotation's coming up, and you're thinking about spending your wild cards or your cash on Team or Wreck, maybe you don't buy Team or Wreck because you know it's going to be illegal in a few months, and instead you get a second tier deck that survives rotation. With random bannings, you can't really do that because you don't have any control over it. You can speculate a little bit and be like, oh, maybe they'll ban this because it's putting up good results, but that's really a horrible system. There's even some evidence that if we had two rotations a year instead of one rotation a year, it would have reduced the number of bannings that we've had over the past two years. While a lot of them would have still happened, like Omnath is still broken, Oko is still broken, it, at least some of them, like Teferi Time Raveler, Wilderness Reclamation, Agent of Treachery, Grow Spiral, they all would have rotated naturally from standard if we had two rotations a year before they were banned. So that's a big chunk of banning gone right there, and I think this even undersells how much impact it could have. Like, take Cauldron Familiar. When Cauldron Familiar was banned last summer, it had 
uh, a year in like a month or two months until it was going to rotate, if we had two rotations a year, it would have been what, just over six months until it would rotate? And the idea of like, okay, Cauldron Familiar is really obnoxious, but it's rotating in six months. Maybe we can just tough it out for a little bit while longer. That's a lot more acceptable, I think, to players and to wizards than, oh, it's going to rotate in over a year. That just sounds like so long. So maybe the players and wizards would be willing to not ban things a little bit more if they knew that rotation was going to be coming quicker and that would get rid of the cards anyway. So would having multiple rotations a year work in this current era of Magic where it's all about arena for standard and papers about commander? I can't tell you for sure. Like, I don't know. I don't have the information. What I do know is that Magic today is way, way, way different than when we tried two rotations a year back from 2015 to 2017. And I don't think that the data Wizards gathered and the feedback from the community about decks becoming illegal too quickly, cards becoming illegal too quickly, the format costing too much, I don't think that applies today much at all. Like, most standard today is played on Arena. Wizards can make decks cost whatever they want. So more rotations wouldn't have to make standard cost more. If it does cost more, that's because Wizards made a bad decision, not because we have two rotations. And the weight of the argument about players disliking their decks becoming illegal faster, it just isn't really there anymore. Players want their decks to become illegal faster, at least their opponent's decks, as we've seen with players choosing to play standard 2022 instead of their real standard decks. Plus, with all the bannings we've had, your decks are going to become legal at random anyway, at least with more rotations. You can prepare for that and plan for that, and we're going to not have those stories, at least as often, of players who spend all their wild cards on this hot new top-tier deck, or all their cash in a hot new top-tier deck, only to have it be banned days, weeks, a couple of months later. So I think that if you add all this together, the evidence to me suggests it is at least worth trying multiple rotations again. Maybe it fails again. Maybe players still dislike it. Maybe it's still too expensive. Maybe they want their decks to last longer. But when you add together everything that's happened in the last few years of Magic, I think it's definitely worth giving a shot. Worst case, it flops and Wizards can go back to the current rotation standard and they would have at least gathered some meaningful data about this current era of Magic with Arena and with cheaper prices and everything else it's changed since 2017 when we last tried this. So that's my argument for trying two rotations a year. Let me know what you think. What do you think in the comments? Do you want more rotations? Are you playing standard or standard 2022? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.